Hey guys, what is up? We are here with a quick video on the deep web or the dark web. Go ahead and support me on Patreon, you can. Uh, there's a link in the description below. The dark web and deep web are actually two separate ideas or two separate things, I guess. Um, ideas, mostly. With the dark web, you have um, basically our websites that can't be searched via Google, things like that. The deep web is something that's different. The deep web is, is something that can only be accessed by the, the Tor network. Um, you don't necessarily have to use the Tor browser. It's just highly recommended if you're accessing the deep web anyway. So much drug trafficking and, you know, weapons and yada yada that you can buy on, on, on the deep web and you know, everybody only goes there for illegal purposes. And, and that's actually just not true. The, the most common theme in the deep web is, is privacy, um, and it's not really much beyond that. Now, one of the things you'll, you'll notice here is the network for, for police monitoring. Now, this is uh, for specifically whistleblowers, and this, this is what the deep web is about. Basically, this is, this is a place where um, if you're, say, in North Korea, and you want to share information on what's going on in North Korea, then obviously you can't do that via a normal website. You can't do that via, you know, just whatever channels that you want because you'll get caught, you'll probably get tortured, and you'll likely get killed. Yes, there are websites um, that allow you to buy guns or drugs or whatever else, you know, and, and they're there, they exist, yes. That percentage of websites make up very, very, very little of the deep web. It's, it's a super low percent, it's like 1 or 2% or something, I, I forget the exact number, but it's seriously low. News websites that are, again, stuff that, you know, uh, nation states may not like, so they track people down who report this kind of stuff and they kill them. And this kind of stuff gets published on the deep web because people are afraid for their own lives and I don't blame them and why would you? Keeping yourself private and keeping yourself offline, again, it's aimed at privacy. This isn't a, we want to sell handguns to you. This is a, we want to help you be secure and private and make sure you don't get killed. The deep web is a place for privacy advocates and for journalists and for whistleblowers to all get together and to help each other out. If you want to, say, watch people die, you can do that on freaking Reddit. A lot of this stuff you can do on the clear web. You can do this on Reddit. You can do this on, you know, you can make a website for this. You can make a website that sells guns. In fact, there are many websites that sell guns. It's just people who are trying to get information out there without being captured. It's people who are trying to help you stay private. It's people who are, you know, blowing the whistle on activity that isn't good. And yeah, if you want to watch people die, go to Reddit. <laughs>